Hello, mathematicians. Uh, welcome. Happy Friday to you. Today's lesson, we're going to be talking about the area of a circle. So far, we've been talking about the circumference, which is the distance around a circle. Today, we're going to be talking about area, the space inside. And if we were in school, I would give you a printout like this page you see here before you. There would be a circle on grid paper. First thing I would ask you to do is to count the radius of the circle. So let's do that right now. So from the center to the edge of the circle, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blocks. So the radius is equal to 8. And I would give you these three squares, square 1, square 2, square 3. And something really cool about these squares, if we count the side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 as well. So each side of this square is the same length as the radius. So we could call these a radius square. And with these three radius squares, I would ask you to cut them out. So we would cut out each square. And I would say, let's try to cut those squares up into little pieces and try to fill in the entire inside of the circle. So we're kind of carpeting that circle with those three squares. But since we're not in class, I asked my one of my daughters to do it. So she cut out the squares and she filled it in and I took a picture. And this is her work. You can see she did a pretty good job. She was able to fill in most of the circle. But there's this little bit of space over here that she was not able to fill in. And I said, well, was three circles enough to fill, or three squares enough, three radius squares enough to fill in your circle? And she said no. And I said, well, do you need a fourth one? And she said, no, we don't need a whole entire fourth one. We just need a little bit left over. So I said, we need three and a wee bit more radius squares to fill a circle. And she said yes, which is the same thing that you would say if you were in class with me today. We need three and a wee bit more radius squares to fill in the inside of a circle. And we have a number for that three and a wee bit more. We call that number pi, 3.1415926565. That's three and just a little bit more radius squares. And that gives us our formula for the area of a circle. So write this down on your paper today. The area of a circle, a is equal to pi times the radius squared, a radius square. So here are the steps for finding the area. Step one, what is the radius? Sometimes they'll give you the radius, sometimes they will not, but we need to know what the radius is. Step two, we're going to square the radius. So you're going to multiply radius times radius. Step three, you're going to multiply the radius squared from step two by pi. And usually we'll be using 3.14. And that gives you the area of your circle. And because we're doing area, it's always going to be units squared. So centimeters squared, feet squared, etc. So step one, what is the radius? Multiply the radius by itself. And then whatever answer you get there, multiply it by pi. Three easy steps to find the radius of a circle. So let's try a few examples. Find the area of a circle with a radius of seven units. So we're going to use what we just saw. I'm going to draw a picture real quick. Here's our circle. Here's the radius. The radius is 7. So step 1. What is the radius? Well, we know it's 7 units. Step 2. We're going to square 7. Multiply it by itself. 7 times 7 is 49. Step 3. We're going to multiply 49, that radius squared, by pi, which is 3.14. And at this point, you can use a calculator if you wish. 49 by 3.14. And that gives us the area is equal to 
and 86 hundredths square units. Okay, so that's the first type of problem you'll see in Khan Academy today. Second type, find the area of a circle with a diameter of 12 units. This time they don't give us the radius, they give us the diameter going all the way across is 12. So if the diameter equals 12, if we are step one, what is our radius? Our radius, if you recall, is just this part, it's half of the diameter. So our radius is 6. Step 2, we're going to multiply 6 by itself. So 6 squared is 36. And then step 3, we're going to multiply that answer, 36, by pi. Punch that into your calculator, 36 times 3.14 is the area equals 113 and 4 hundredths unit squared. And once again, in case it wasn't clear before, this answer, 113 and 4 hundredths unit squared, that's how much space there is inside the circle. Unlike circumference, which is the distance around a circle, this is the space inside the circle. Okay, last example that you'll see on Khan Academy today. Find the area of a circle with a circumference of 87 and 92 hundredths units. So this time, we know the circumference, we don't know the radius, so we need to work backwards. So if we have that the circumference is 87.92, if you recall, if we divide that by pi, that gives us the diameter. So we can punch that into our calculator, divide it by pi, and that gives us that the diameter is 28. So if the diameter is 28, then step 1, the radius is half of the diameter, which is 14. Step 2, we're going to square 14. We get 196. Then step 3, we're going to multiply that 196, the radius square, by pi. And that gives us that the area is equal to 615 and 44 hundredths units squared. So this one has a few more steps. If you're given the circumference, we divide by pi, and that gives us the diameter. If we know the diameter, we divide that by 2, and that gives us the radius. And then once you know the radius, you follow the same steps we were doing before. So let's look at those steps once again. Step 1, what is the radius? Step 2, square the radius. Step 3, multiply the radius squared by pi, and that gives you your area. And let's look at why that is again. Because if we take three radius squares and try to fill in the inside of the circle, it's not quite enough. As we saw from my daughter's example here, we need three and a wee bit more radius squares to fill in the circle, and that's where we get this formula. Area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Hope that helps. Good luck with your Khan Academy practice today. Thank you.